Should one read Journey to the West in reverse, what then might it seem? The Buddha dispatched Tang Monk and his three disciples, along with eight volumes of sacred scriptures and the white dragon horse, to the eastern land of the Great Tang to spread the teachings. Along the way, they encountered many demons and monsters, battling them repeatedly, only to realize that there was always a puppet master behind the scenes. No matter how vile their deeds, they never faced punishment. Feeling the pervasive darkness and eerie nature of the journey, Ba Ji and Wu Jing decided they did not wish to be entangled in such matters. They abandoned their mission to escort Tang Monk and returned home. Ba Ji fled back to Gao village, while Wu Jing returned to the Flowing Sands River. Only Wu Kong persisted in upholding righteousness, eliminating demons and monsters along the way, and protecting his master. However, his actions led to great dissatisfaction in the heavenly court. After reaching an agreement with the Buddha, ensuring that Tang Monk would safely reach the eastern land of the Great Tang to spread the teachings, the Buddha agreed to remove the thorn in their side, Wukong. Thus, under a scheme, Wukong was defeated and banished beneath the Five Elements Mountain. Abandoned by Tang Monk, who continued alone to the eastern land of the Great Tang, Wukong was left behind. Upon completing his mission, Tang Monk was bestowed the title of Imperial Younger Brother by the Emperor of the Great Tang, and time flowed on for 500 years. Wu Kong eventually escaped from beneath the Five Elements Mountain and, without a word, stormed the Heavenly Palace. Unable to subdue him, the Heavenly Court agreed to make Ba Ji, the Marshal of the Heavenly Reeds, and Wu Jing, the curtain-lifting general, but only if they would eliminate Wukong. The tale concludes in fraternal strife. Disheartened, Wukong sought out Patriarch Bodhi, sealed away all his magical powers, discarded the golden headband, and returned to Flower Fruit Mountain. There, he lived a peaceful and joyous life with his monkey subjects. In the end, Wukong transformed into a stone atop Flower Fruit Mountain. What do you think of this story?